Do you use Zoho for your CRM? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new signed document. So I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner where it says my forms and we're going to choose my signed documents. Then we're gonna choose that green create signed document button. And if you already have a PDF version of this document that you need signed, you can always use the upload document option. But for me today, I'm gonna to go ahead and use a template. And just to keep things simple, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this simple one page lease agreement. Now, anytime I'm working with a template, I always want to do a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So here I can see that the landlord is everyone in orange and then the tenant is everything in purple. Scrolling to the bottom, we see them down here as well. Now, if there are any pieces of this that we are missing, so if we're using this for a CRM, we definitely need their email address and we do not have that as of right now. This is very similar to our form builder. So if we head over to the left-hand side of our screen, the add fields, we can drag and drop any of these fields wherever we need them. And we can see here, if we need to change this to the landlord, we can choose this here or over here on the email properties, we can change it to the landlord as well. But we do need this as the tenant, so go ahead and change it back. Perfect. So now let's get this integrated with Zoho. I'm gonna head up to that top middle tab settings. Then over on the left-hand side, we're gonna to head to integrations. I'm just gonna do a quick search for Zoho. Perfect. And if you haven't already integrated with Zoho, you're going to need to sign into your account. I already have, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose my account now. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to identify a module that we would like our new tenants information to go into. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in leads. And if you have a specific layout, you can choose that here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and map these fields. And then for the address, this is going to be what I populate in as their new address. So this is perfect. If we wanna add a note, we can do that as well. If we want to trigger a specific workflow, we can do that here as well. And if we need to update any existing records, we can do that. But for now, I think I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose save. And we're gonna go ahead and complete the integration. But if you do need to add more pieces, you can do that here. Then we'll finish it up. Now all that's left is to test this integration. So I'm gonna head up to that third tab, send. We're gonna go ahead and put in our tenant's information. Now, if I go ahead and click the send to sign button now, both the landlord and the tenant are gonna get this email at the exact same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I want to ensure that my landlord gets it first so that way they can pre-fill it out. And then when they're done, the tenant can agree and sign that document. So in order to do this, all we need to do is turn on signing order. We see these dots appear. We can move these around if they're not in the order that we need, but we can see me, the landlord is going to get it first and then the tenant is going to get it second. So let's send a sign and let's head over to our landlord's email. All right, go ahead, review and sign document. And we can see right up here, we have three fields and it dropped it down to two because it went ahead and pre-populated this. So just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and do a real quick sign and date. Then we can next, sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to the tenant's email. All right, review and sign document. Then we can see we have four fields, drop down to two, again, because of that pre-populating. And again, just for the sake of time, just gonna head down to the bottom. Now, whenever we sign and date it, since this is the last thing that we have to sign, we can see right down here, it says sign and complete. So sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to Zoho. And with a quick refresh, we can see right over here, our tenants information is right in today's leads. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about integrating JotForm Sign with your Zoho account, definitely let us know. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.